So, I first got into like spiritual stuff when I checked out this book called Miyamoto Musashi's Book of Five Rings. And I was like, huh. And I, at the time, like I, I had this way of learning things, which is basically like I'd look at something and then I kind of like just keep looking at it. And I'm not, I'm not really thinking. And like, I just have this like feeling that there's like more, more to get. And then eventually that more to get feeling goes away and I understand it. Um, and that's kind of just always how I've operated. It's like, oh, I need to like understand something. Let me just fucking bring my attention to it. Ah, I get it now. And I did that with Miyamoto Musashi's Book of Five Rings. Um, and I was like, huh, it's like, no matter how long I look at this, like it's not really, uh, it's not like absorbing. It's weird. Um, it must be like, I don't know, this might be, this must have some depth to it. This is really interesting. And it just kind of caught my curiosity in like a really, uh, fun way where it was like, ah, oh, like this thing, like, is just interesting. It's just fun. It's like, and no matter how much I look at it, it's like, there's something like bringing me back to it, which is just really cool. So that was my introduction. And then I found, um, a few more spiritual books. I was reading one of them. And it was like, it was like, I had all these quotes from like Zen masters and stuff. It was like, ah, you know, if you, if you observe the observer, you enter a new state of consciousness. And I was like, oh, sounds like fun. I'll try it. Um, so I like kind of went like this. I did kind of like the absorb, the absorb thing. Kind of did it like inwardly. And, um. Yeah, I was just like basically stumbling around outside. And I was like, man, like, oh, I'm fucked up. And I look up at this lamppost, and like everything becomes like mega beautiful all at once. It was like, Vzz! and I just like fell on the floor in the pouring rain. And I was just like, I was just looking at all this like uh, incredible, like a beauty when I was getting like slammed in the face by water. Uh, and eventually I got back up. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, huh, okay, I'll just go back inside, I guess. And then the next, like, two days, or the, maybe the next morning. Yeah, the next morning, uh, like, when I woke up, I, like, went to bed, and then when I woke up, I, there was, like, my experience was just, like, really smooth, and I was just kind of, like, doing everything that I wanted. Um, And I had, like, a really, like, free, like, casual air about me. It's, like, a bunch of, like, um, like, a bunch of, like, uh, conceptions about how the world worked were, like, gone. And... That lasted for about, you know, half the day, and then I kind of s switched back more into, like, a more normal mode, more, like, human mode, uh, you know, where this, things are tough and confusing and hard. And, like, ever since then, I've been experiencing, like, you know, like, three to seven times per day. Like, I'll have, like, a loss of control of my body, similar to, like, falling on the floor, but a little less violent. Um... And I'll have some kind of like Kundalini movement. So like some kind of energetic movement in my body. Kundalini. I mean, the Kundalini, I don't really believe in it. But yeah, I'll have some kind of energetic movement in my body. Um, and then there'll be some kind of shift uh, where everything changes for me in like an instant. And then when I get out of that, I'll be like a different person. And my perception will be completely different. Uh, and, you know, there's varying varying degrees of uh, power associated with those kind of events. Um, but they happen often. Uh, it's still happening now. And my path has basically been, like, I had about seven years of that. Um, and then I, like, got enlightened. And it culminated in this, like, week of, like, ramping up the power of like those things where I kind of like lose control and then like come back in. Um, and this thing where I was, that I was doing where I was like connecting to Miyamoto Musoshi or the work or anything. And then like absorbing it back in, I figured out that I could, I could do that to like trees. I could do that to like art. I could do that to people. I could do that to stuff I was reading. And what I'm actually doing is I'm shifting into the energetic space of the thing. Uh, and I'm kind of like, absorbing the energy into my body so i can like if i'm talking to someone 
I can shift into their energetic space and like take things that they've like learned or like understand or like the way they perceive the world, and I can just use them for myself. Like from then on, um, you know, I can I can absorb a lot from pretty much anyone or anything. Like I learned like a bunch of Egyptian magic from just reading Egyptian texts, and it's the same thing with like, everything that I that I like uh, try and consume. I kind of do it with this energetic process where I'm like, hum, hum. it's fine now. Um, so it's very low effort. <laughs> so I pretty much spent like seven years kind of just uh, getting these like insight booms where I just like lose control of my body and come back and I have like more insight into reality and I'm like a different person and my perception is different. Uh, and also like doing this energetic connection thing. So like my energetic connection thing um It's kind of like a skill that I accidentally cultivated for a bunch of years. <laughs> and it's how I've like um how I've pretty much navigated the world the whole time. Um but it, what it means is now at this point, if I'm like talking to someone, I can just connect to their energetic system and I can see everything that's going on. I just know everything that's going on. So I know if they have a block in their heart chakra, I know if they have a block in their like sacral, I know how the system's set up. I know like if they're afraid, like there's a bunch of different emotional chakras and I can detect all of those happening as well. Um, and then by knowing that I can then tell people like, Hey, you, th there's a thing that you're missing here. There's a blind spot here and you can solve that by doing this thing. Um, so the, the disadvantage of that is that when I'm telling them that I'm feeling their feelings in my body at the same time. So if they have like a blocked heart chakra, it's like I have a blocked heart chakra at the same time until like their energy leaves my system. So it's like very physically demanding. Um, yeah. See, so yeah, I got enlightened. And uh, since then I was like, hey, now that I'm enlightened, I'm allowed to teach. Because <laughs> that's how, that's how the Zen teachers did it. The, the Chinese Zen teachers, Chan teachers. It's like, once you're enlightened, then you're good. And you can tell people about it. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Um, and that's pretty much it, yeah. So like, I'm, I'm Hanjo. I have energy powers. And I use it to navigate my life. And I'm enlightened. So yeah.